everybody welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing 90 day fiance before the 90 days this is their third season episode one crazy in love so the first one her name is Rebecca and she turns she's a PI and she loves busting cheaters and she has three kids and a grandkid uh, the guy he lives in Tun Tunisia and he's 26 years old and like Age don't stop her. She don't care. She's going to keep on going. And basically the guy, I forgot his name. He didn't care about age. And she she uses like Snapchat filters and all those type of filters to um make herself look younger or whatever. So even though he don't care about age, you're still trying to like look younger. I guess that's what older women do. Um, she's been married three different times. And her last husband, she met him in Morocco. And, you know, they got married there and turns out that he is just, he, she saw another side to him. The next person we meet is Caesar. Now, he's the one I'm most interested in. Like, mm, okay, he is 46 years old and, you know, he's meditating. He works as, like, he does women's pedicures and all that. Like, I've never seen a black guy do pedicures, usually, like, Chinese. But anyways, that's besides the point. He dated his ex-girlfriend for 13 years. And then he met this girl named Maria. And they've been dating five years over the internet. And, you know, Caesar is giving her like $800 a month. And basically, I think this chick is using you for her money. That, that does, he, does he even see her in the episode? Or does she keep making excuses? Like, what is the issue? Next person is Avery. She's 19 years old. She, could, she was a Christian, but she converted to Islam like... I, I don't touch on religion on my channel, so I'm not going to get into that. But uh, she's dating this guy named Omar. They met on a Muslim dating app, and he's from Syria. And she still lives at home with her parents. Her mother does not agree with this at all. And I'm kind of like, mm. so you changed yourself for a guy? Don't ever, ever do that. Because when you do that, you lose yourself in the process. The next person is Darcy. She is the reason I'm doing this review because I was watching her season when she was first on with Jesse. And I'm so glad she got rid of Jesse because who is he to tell like this grown lady with two kids what to do? Like, get out of here. So she met this guy named, and also she has a twin. She's really close to her twin. And um, she flew to meet him. They were basically. Explaining the story of how Jesse, I mean, how Darcy met Jesse. If you want to go see that, it's on Hulu. Um, 90 Day Fiance Season 1 is on there. So she jumped back out there, back to the dating pond, and she met Tom. She actually knew Tom before she started dating Jesse, but the timing wasn't right, and then she dated Jesse. He's British, and he is 39 years old, and, you know, she was talking to him while she was talking to Jesse, but, like, more on a, um friend level caesar is just and her daughters tell her to watch out because just like what happened last time with jesse uh is the lighting good in here mm, no that's too bright okay that's better um where was I? Oh, yeah, Darcy. Yeah, she met this guy. And, like, yeah. So, now we're back to Caesar. Caesar is just scraping by just to, you know, take care of her. Honestly, I hate when a woman does that. Like, have a man, like, take care of you. Like, really now? Really. Like, you should just cut it out and go work for yourself. And she's from Ukraine, so there's that. And then we meet Timothy. He's kind of conceited. I guess he was a dork in high school. I feel like he wasn't cool. He played Dungeons and Dragons or whatever that game is called. He's an entrepreneur. And basically, he makes guns look like art. But, you know, I don't like guns. And basically, Timothy needs to, you know, get him some bigger weights. Because the ones he had look like baby weights. Like, what are you doing with that? And he is talking to this girl named Jennifer. She's 25, and she has a daughter. And by first, Tim thought she was catfishing him, so that was different. And they raise... Uh, okay, is it his ex fiance is named Veronica. They were, like, dating for, like, eight years. And um, they broke up, but 
Veronica has a daughter named Chloe, but that is not um, Timothy's daughter. You know, they raised her together. And then we see Darcy and her sister Stacy getting laser on their tummy and then doing all that stuff. Like, like mm, can't do needles in my face. No, no. And then uh, we learn that Stacy's been engaged for like three years to this guy uh, from somewhere. And basically, Darcy has not met her sister's fiance. And Rebecca's never been to Tinsia. Darcy seems happy with Tim, you know. They're video chatting and talking. Of course, Jesse somehow, like, this is not the Jesse season, okay? His season already passed and gone. Like, why are you still mentioning Jesse? I get you that you were with him for two years, but let's move on. Let's move on. And um, basically, there was this situation with the ring. He thought it was, like, some sort of engagement ring, and it wasn't. So, basically, he can get up out of here. And we learn that Rebecca is technically not divorced. She's still married to her third husband because she did not file for divorce. And she, Zayed, that's his name. Zayed is not going to be happy about that when he finds out. And I still say this. I'm going to say this the whole season. Hit that like button if you want me to review next week's episode. But Caesar needs to get rid of Maria. She is just using her him for money. And, like, that ain't right. And I think there's one more couple, but they were not in this episode. They're probably going to be in the next one. So, this is it for my review. Please hit that like button if you want to see me review it again. Or, if not, I'll still review it next week either way because it's still good. I just hope the episode is not two hours long next week. Like, no two hours. But, bye-bye.